Hey everyone, it's the first night of Citizens Correctional Academy and we are at Riverbend, the state's maximum security prison. The night started with introductions from participants and TDOC leadership, followed by some remarks from Commissioner Strada. After a quick presentation about the facility, it was time to mingle before heading out to the compound. We headed down to Housing Unit 6, which is on the low security side. We got to speak with some offenders there and see what their cell looked like and learn about how they spend their time at the facility. It was interesting to learn that some of the men are allowed to leave for work if they meet certain requirements. We toured the wood shop where offenders can earn a carpentry certification and joined in on a Lipscomb University class where students are earning an associate's degree. Something I didn't know was students who get their associate's degree through Lipscomb while incarcerated have a 0% recidivism rate. That means none of them return to prison. To end the tour, we went back to the visitation gallery and talked about what we learned. Next week, we're doing a re-entry simulation. Not entirely sure what that entails, but it should be fun. If you're in my Citizens Academy class, or if you've been through the program in the past, let me know what you think in the comments. See you guys next week. Bye. Hello everyone, um, I'm here today for session two of Citizens Academy. We're meeting at Junior Achievement BizTown location, so I'm really excited to go in and get started. Um, so I guess we'll start with signing in and all that. Welcome to the Citizens Academy. So we started the night with signing in, checking out the facility. Oh look, there's my team. Hi team. Hey, well, friends, what's up, Cammie? Hey vloggers. You're in the vlog. What's Hi, going everyone. on? Welcome to episode two of her vlog. She gonna break it down for y'all. We're gonna learn all about community <laughs> supervision. Time now to join the group and learn more about probation and parole. So right here, we're headed into the re-entry simulation. We're all given identities and limited resources to try and re-enter society. We had to get IDs, jobs, account for transportation, rent, and meeting with parole officers. The goal here is to give participants a unique perspective of the barriers that parolees faced after being released from prison. Included in the simulation was a chance booth where participants can try their luck at reoffending without getting caught. I'm going to jail. I was not so lucky. They locked me up! It's my second time in jail. After a humbling experience re-entering society, we moved outside where we got fitted for vests and teamed up with some probation parole officers before heading out on real home visits. Like that's the best compliment ever. So didn't get a ton of footage here out of respect of privacy, but on our ride back, I got the chance to ask them about their favorite part of the job. When your offenders call you back and say, thank you, because you help them do what nobody else has ever helped them do. I I can't ask for anything else. Well, next week we're headed to the women's prison to focus on rehab services and the programming that is offered to offenders. Hope you'll join us. Thanks for watching. Bye. Hi, TDOC friends and family. I'm here at the Deborah K. Johnson Rehabilitation Center for session three of Citizens Academy. Uh, we'll be doing lots of fun stuff tonight. We're going to definitely hear the choir. We're definitely getting catered by the culinary arts students, which is awesome. And we're definitely going to see the dogs. So I'm excited to do it all. Let's go. We started the night off with dinner. Culinary arts students made a delicious taco bar. And my favorite part, personally, was a tres leche cake. But after dinner, we headed down to the chapel to go see the choir sing. They sang two songs, both of them incredible. After hearing the ladies sing a few songs, we headed down to see the dogs from Retrieving Independence. These dogs are specifically trained to complete tasks for people who otherwise can't complete them on their own, and also do life-saving activities like alert if somebody has having a seizure, life-saving work being done here, and also 
Just a really great time to pet the puppies. So we end our evening heading over to the child visitation unit to check out the facilities over there. We recently did a video about that. A Wisconsin warden actually came down to check out our program and see what Tennessee does different, what makes us so unique. And it is a very unique program, so I encourage you to check the video out. And so finally, it's time for leftovers. More Trace Lake Chicken. We rounded out the evening with some quick remarks from Chief of Staff Richard Muckle. And that's it for Citizens Academy Session 3. Please join us next week where we'll be headed to Deberry to check out some things about interdiction and clinical services. Still learning, so I don't know what that means, but we'll figure it out together. Thanks for watching. Bye. Hi everyone, welcome back to Citizens Correctional Academy Session 4. We started the evening in groups of three and our first stop was the intake building where the Office of Investigations and Conduct, that's OIC, staged a crime scene for us to develop a motive, so that was pretty fun. Next we heard from the security threat group and these special investigators helped to identify gang members within TDOC facilities, so we got to first hand look at some of this contraband that has been confiscated over the years and also very interesting stuff. The last demonstration of the evening we got to meet K-9 officer Never and her handler and watch her alert for drugs in action. Um, so that was also pretty cool. I've never seen it done before. We witnessed a vehicle search by K-9 officer Argo and his handler. Sorry, I didn't get any footage of them. Um, but then we also got the opportunity to search the vehicle on our own, which was very, very engaging. Last item on the agenda was going on a tour of the compound. We got to see all different parts of the facility. We got to see the palliative care unit. We also went down to the state-of-the-art dialysis clinic. It has 14 different bays that serves men and women. We also got to check out housing unit six, which isn't all that unique in and of itself, but it has some really cool decorations and a really nice outdoor exercise area. And so we ended our night with closing remarks from Warden Holloway and many thanks to him and his staff for such an informative and fun evening. And hope to see you back next week where we'll all be graduating. It's going to be at the Tennessee Tower. So until next time, thank you so much for watching. Take care. Hey everyone, welcome back to Citizens Correctional Academy, this time for our graduation. This Citizens Academy was so much fun, so informative. Everyone who participated was a wealth of knowledge from their own fields. We learned a lot from the experience as well as from each other. And that's something that made it so special was just getting to know everybody. For our graduation, we heard from some of my classmates about what they learned and their new perspective on TDOC and how we operate. Commissioner Strada also had some words of encouragement for our participants and future participants of Citizens Correctional Academy. So next, it was time to officially graduate. We were presented with our certificates of completion and a point of success from the commissioner. We took a group photo, you can check that out on our Facebook page, and celebrated with some delicious food and last time together as a group before it was all over and time to clean up. Thank you so much for joining us on this journey. If you're interested in TDOC Citizens Correctional Academy, we encourage you to apply next time around. Check our social media pages for updates and applications posted in the future. And again, thank you so much for watching and take care.